Can you get paid in a Google form? You can. Watch more to learn how. Today, I'll walk you through how to use the Payable Forms add-on. To take payment in a Google form, you're going to have to download the add-on Payable Forms. So in the Google Workspace Marketplace, search Payable Forms, this bad boy right here. I already have it installed, as you can see, but it should be the first one that pops up. It has the regular permissions um, that you would assume. Everything is listed here. Uh, has a lot of reviews, which is great. It does give you a quick overview, but I'll take you through a more specific overview as well in terms of getting set up. So after you hit install, uh, which will be right here, once you've installed the Payable Forms add-on, your regular Google form will have uh, a bit of an add-on when you hover the puzzle piece, which is right here. So you can see that it's right here. Um, so if you click this, you can go to make this form payable and this will get you set up. Perfect, so it will add a little bit of a menu right here uh, that will help you get started. So I have actually used a template from the Payable Apps uh, Google Form templates. They have a ton that are super useful, um, kind of different ones. We have sports, services, uh, product sales. I've chosen the club registration form. Um, it's really handy if you have an annual form that you have been using to maybe collect payments with or get people's information or sizes for a t-shirt order, anything along those lines. Um, so it's really cool because all you have to do in this is add a question. So it's nice because you can add a ton of different questions like the person's name or a membership number or address, phone number, etc. And then for actually highlighting what you want to be a payable item, so what you want to collect money on, you just add the item and then a dollar sign and then the money amount afterwards. So I'm going for the annual membership fee and it's going to be $20. Uh, you can add whatever you want in terms of it being required. So this is just like a normal Google form. Um, you can you know, ask people if they want to be in a WhatsApp group, which is super helpful. It's great. So generally you start by hitting auto configure form and sheet, just like this. And what this is doing is scraping your form to see if there is a dollar amount already in it, um, adding a Google sheet that will have all the form answers and then adding some payable columns as well. You can add a sample payment section if you did uh, not have one already, um, which can just set up you know, some quick, easy things for you. You can also uh, make the theme look the same at checkout. So I'm going to hit that as well. So then when you're going through the checkout page, it matches the colors that I already have. And uh, next, we're going to also want to connect the payment provider. So the most important part of uh, taking payment is obviously having a payment provider as well. So if you click this, uh, it gives you a few different options in order to um, be able to add a payment provider. So Payable Forms isn't actually touching any of your data. It's just connecting you to rather Square, Stripe, or PayPal so that you can take your payments through your trusted and secure payment service provider. Um, so today I think I'm going to hook up my Square account. So let's click Square. So when you get back to this page, it will say connected with Square, which is super helpful. Uh, and now you can close this. So um, if you wanted to test this, which I highly recommend that you do prior to starting, you would want to make this form payable. So this will enable the form to be able to let you test it. And then there is another button that will actually say that you can accept real money before you actually kind of send it out to your email list to have people fill out the form in live mode and accept, you know, real cash. So let's try the form out now. And it will kind of walk you through everything. Um, so I'm going to fill this out. And as I'm filling this out, I am going to select the 2024 membership for $20. Um, I'm going to say that you can email me um, and I'll be added to the WhatsApp group and that I do understand. Uh, if you want, you can have a copy of your responses sent, but you as the form owner will receive a copy of whatever has been sent. So if you hit submit, payment is the next step. So you just click here to go to the checkout. 
Now this is sending you to a secure checkout page, which is enabling uh, my Square account to accept the payments that it needs. So your um, blurb at the top in relation to uh, any details will still follow through and be added on here. Um, as you can see, this order is in test mode. So I'm going to pay this $20 um, as I pay. Um, and then it does give you um, these sandbox testing credit cards so you can make sure that everything works properly. So I'm going to use uh, a MasterCard today. So if you just copy and paste these details into here, um, 1126 and then 111 and zip code. I always choose this one, but you can choose any you want. And if you go to pay $20, it will validate, charge the card and thank you for your order. So now on the next screen, it will say that this has been paid. After the order has been paid, it will show up in your connected Google Sheet to tell you all the details, uh, which is super helpful. Um, you can always see the responses here at a quick overview. And when you're happy with it and you're sure that everything's working, um, you can just scroll down a little bit and say off, um, which will turn testing mode off. So this will change it to be accepting real money. And the other cool thing is that you can also add some additional kind of payment settings. Um, you can change your currency if need be, if you've set up, you know, in Canadian, but you need it to be USD. Uh, the checkout settings, you can change the payment service type. So say this is a club or membership, uh, you can update it there as well. Uh, you can add tax to it or handling fee if you were maybe trying to ship something out afterwards. And then this is really handy. You can say uh, custom text on checkout. So if you did want to say, you know, anything related to an invoice number or a tax ID, you can add that there. Uh, we do actually allow you to use two different promo codes. Um, so if you did have, you know, returning users get 50% off their next membership, you can, you can change that here uh, by creating a label and a promo value. And another cool thing um, are some of the notification settings. So you can change the email settings to advance, which will send you um, more information uh, when you get a new order. And then also you can change the email. So just separate it with a comma. So say there was two of you, you know, you have, you're the president of the club and you have a vice president, you can add it there. Um, and then you can also uh, change the order email body, which is really handy. And then you can also turn off payment reminders. So if somebody does fill out the form and they don't end up paying you, so they just, you know, leave the checkout, um, you can rather turn on or off payment reminders so that you will be, uh, an automatic email will be sent to remind people that they need to pay. So that's it. Um, that's a really easy way that you can use uh, this cool add-on, uh, Payable Forms, with your existing Google Form or the brand new Google Form uh, to create payment uh, checkouts. So really just to turn your Google Form into a checkout and, and make things really easy for you. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.